This is the power of a whiteboard. Now let's be real. A whiteboard is just something that you can use to help in everyday processes. It inspires, it motivates, it reminds you. Um, it's just overall a good place to put things. To remind you in case you forget. To motivate you in case you were slacking. It's just a good overall place for you to write down thoughts, for you to write down reminders. Now, what's the magic behind it? Why is the whiteboard so powerful? This is why the whiteboard's so powerful. Every single day that I wake up, the first thing I do is look at this whiteboard. Today, it happens to say, stop consuming, start producing. Now, let's just think for a moment that I didn't have this whiteboard. And I wanted to remember this saying. What would I do? Mm, I could possibly put it on a sticky note and put it on my desk over here. But that's kind of small and the chances of me actually reading that every single day are more or less likely because I don't sit at my desk every day. Now if you sit at your desk every day you might have a better chance but there's something else wrong with the sticky note. You don't wake up at your desk. You wake up. I literally wake up right here I literally wake up and look at this whiteboard. That is what I do. I wake up, look at this whiteboard, it's the first thing I engage with. It's the first thing I look at when I wake up. It's the first, it's the last thing I look at when I go to bed. This whiteboard is very powerful. Now you could write something on your wall, but who wants to do that? If you're an artist, maybe you have your own apartment, your own pad, and you're allowed to write on your walls, you can write on your walls. Or get those walls that, uh, or that paint that you can draw on. That'd be cool. That whiteboard paint. I think they have that, actually. That would be really cool. But, let's, let's think again logically. I don't have the whiteboard, so the sticky notes are pretty good. They don't, they're kind of small and on your desk, and you might not see them when you wake up, the first thing. So it's not a really good reminder. You might not see it every day. It's really small. So on and so forth. Let's think of something else. I could keep remembering the saying. But then I'm not writing it down. Then I'm not looking, visualizing what it says. Not reading what it says. I'm just thinking about it. I'm just thinking about it. I'm not actually doing, actually performing an action and taking a step in the right direction of doing whatever my task is or my reminder is on this actual piece of medium. Let's think again about something else we could use. What else would we use? Notes on our phone. You use your phone for a lot of things, I'm sure, as I do too. But let's think about this logically. Your phone, when you wake up, the first thing I do is get out of bed. You might, some people actually do look at their phone right when they get out of bed. So if that's you, like, props to you. But notes on a phone are small. You're typing instead of writing. It's been proven that writing out what you're going to do instead of typing out what you're going to do is actually better and helps stimulate your brain. But if it works for you, it works for you. If you want to take notes on your phone, that's great. It works for you. I'm just saying that the power of this whiteboard, the power it possesses is something great. You could use a chalkboard, any type of board. You could just pin something up on your wall with big tape and just pin it on your wall. Something, a just big poster board that says whatever you want to accomplish or a big calendar, whatever. Just anything that pins on your wall that so when you wake up in the morning, you can instantly look up and see something that reminds you of your goals, that reminds you of what, where, you're trying to, where you're trying to go in life, that reminds you of where you're headed, that motivates you, that reminds you, that inspires you, that creates that sense of urgency in, with, within your life. And I think sticky notes are good. 
I think notes on your phone are good. I think thinking about these things are good, but I think writing them down, waking up next to them every single day, reading them out loud, stop consuming, start producing, and going on with your day is very, very powerful and it, it has a lot of meaning behind it. It shows that you're motivated and you're ready to succeed. It shows that you want to do this, that it, you're not just going through the motions like, oh, stop consuming, start producing, I'm putting that on my phone. No, you're actually doing it. You're writing it down, you're reading it every day, and that becomes a habit, and it becomes, your thought becomes an idea, your idea becomes your action, and your action becomes your philosophy. So that's what happens. You just build over time. The more you read something, the more you, you, you read, the more you read something, the more you write something down, the more you gain from the actual thought, the more you gain from the actual idea, and the more you take action on it. That's what I'm trying to get across to you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's just basically me explaining this whiteboard and the power behind it, but I think it's really necessary for some of you to think about ways to constantly remind yourself and actually take action instead of just going through the motions and thinking about them or, you know, putting them in your phone and not really engaging with them. And another thing too, if you get a whiteboard and then you don't write anything on it, what's the use? What's the point of the whiteboard? The purpose is to write something on it. The purpose is to remind you of something, to motivate you. You're supposed to write something, draw something, do whatever it takes to get motivated, to get inspired, to remind yourself why you're here, what you're trying to accomplish, and just get on with life. That's what I think the power of the whiteboard is, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, feel free to check out my other content. I'll be making more videos in the future, um, business-related videos, and hopefully some different topics in a certain point. I don't know exactly where I want to go with this channel, like I said in the previous video. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. Um, but I definitely think that I'm starting to get a grasp of what this YouTube thing is. And I hope to be making a lot more content. Like I said, I have a 30-day challenge. Um, I've already been slacking a little bit. Uh, I was going to upload this video yesterday and produce this video yesterday, but I failed to do so. I had work, but that's not an excuse. You know, we got we to gotta push through. And my goal was to get uh, 33 days in a row. Um, I'm still on track to do that, but I wanted to do two videos some days too, and that's like the biggest thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, check out my other content. Feel free to uh, subscribe if you want to see future videos of stuff like this, business-related topics, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Peace.